Yo, hey yo, you back at work? No Tino. Oh shit, man, come on, man. I don't got that. Miss no days. Lay that home. Tino, man. I don't miss no days at work, man. Hell no, nah, man. Tino ain't never miss no day. I tell you, we gonna get the nigga a certificate, man. Like the end of the year program at school, man. Perfect attendance, I did hope, man. But nah, right, we back another week, another episode, man. Right to the podcast. We gotta bring y'all this podcast each and every week. Long as this crazy shit going on in the world, we're gonna bring out this podcast because we got a whole lot of shit to talk about. Always have, always will. Hey, but before we get too far into it, man, as always, we want to say shout out YouTube.com, man. We found out a hundred million views get you eight hundred dollars. So I wonder how much longer we're gonna rock. Now I'm, I'm bullshitting, man. <laughs> shout out YouTube.com, dope for hosting our podcast, man. Go look us up, RMG LLC 2020 on YouTube, Righteous Media Group. Right to the podcast, whatever you want to type in, Ace and Tino, it'll all pop up. Um, definitely go like, subscribe, comment, follow, man. Get the views up. The impressions going crazy, but shit, we need the views and the, and the subscribers to go crazy too, man. We what? need all that kind of engagement going on, man. We appreciate y'all, though, for everybody who do watch us in each and every state, man. We can see the states that y'all watching us from. So definitely, man. It's a couple of y'all. We gotta watch what we say out there, ho, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to New York. Man. Yeah, man. Shout out to New York, man. Y'all fucking with us hard, man. But um, yeah, we we definitely check the data, man, to stay in tune with our fans. So we appreciate y'all, and again, we appreciate YouTube.com for fucking with us, man, hosting our podcast for show. Also, man, shout out in house, like new window cleaner, man. It's getting hot outside. Get your windows clean. 205-427-0303. Get my dog to get your windows clean, commercial or residential. Anything else you need done, holler at him when he get the estimates are free. Um, but yeah, we in, we we swinging all summer, man. Go get your window clean for sure. It is. Also, we want to shout out the Fluid Coffee Boutique, man. Go holler at Miss Tierra Elizabeth to get all your house blends, man. Go get all your hibiscus, all your magical lemonades, all your, all your blends. You what did the Honduras blend? Yeah, you man. feel me? All that good shit, man. She had pop up shops. She got a stable location now, man, but definitely go check her out on Instagram, her personal page, Sierra Elizabeth, or you can go to her business page at LaFleur Coffee Boutique and get you some of this dope ass coffee, man, for sure. You don't want to miss out on that. Look, my boy reading it. My nigga gonna brew some of that shit. We're gonna drink some of that shit. You did. For sure, man. We always be on that LaFleur Coffee, man, for real. Black owned, best coffee in the world, man. Nah, for so real. definitely don't want to miss out on that, man. But Man, we've we been going back and forth, man, all week because it's been a good week, man. Highs and lows. I've been going through some shit, man. All kind of shit. But it's been a good week, nonetheless, man. How your week been, Doc? What you been straight? Yeah. I should been straight, you did. Goddamn. I don't work no more, you did. So, goddamn, I did. Yeah. I don't play no clock no more, I said. Yeah. Let me so, goddamn, I've been enjoying that shit, man. Yeah. I just been goddamn, you still making my way out there, home. Any highlights, anything special pop out this week, man? Uh, I wouldn't say nothing special. Same yeah. old, regular old, same old. Just mi- mixing and mingling out now, making type some money. Shit, type shit. Making Watch what been going on in there. In that goddamn world, of crazy ass. <laughs> yeah, bro, there been some bullshit going on, but I don't know, man. I, I, I had a pretty average week. A good week, nothing less, bro, but ever since I stopped smoking weed, bro, I started having dreams again, bro, and like, that shit been crazy, bro. So I feel like I've been seeing into the future, kind of sort of to say. So like that's my epiphany for the week, man. Like mm. I've been kind of seeing around the corner, bro. And it's a lot of good shit on the way, man. Also, happy birthday to my little sister today. Her birthday, her twenty first birthday. She oh, watched our so. show for so so. She turned twenty one today. So that's another happy highlight of my week because I remember when you was born. Now you twenty one years old. So yeah, only thing you get now is some bills. Goddamn you. You're grown, shit. Welcome Congrats. to the dark side. Congratulations. Yeah. Here's your nothing. <laughs> For real. You can buy alcohol and you don't even want it no more. Yeah, shit ain't as exciting. But nah, for real though, shout out to my little sister, man. Happy birthday to you. The show, man. Live it up. Live it up. She in touch. Well, nah. Well, yeah, she go to Tuskegee, but yeah, she out in Texas for the summer doing her thing. So, okay. yeah, shout out to her, man. But yeah, man. It been some crazy shit going on in the world, Tino, man. What 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 caught your eye, man? I got a whole list of shit. I wanna go with with the most recent, but it be so funny cause like like we'll be caring about shit. Right. Like entertainment wise, and there's black people involved. That's very true. 
That's absolutely hey, true. Hey, we had no black people buy wood kill motherfucker. Cheated wood kill. They had a <laughs> yeah. brick and hit the other dick across the head with it. But um yeah. Tyson Fear and the um you sick, you sick, whatever on um, the other dude name is. Yeah, now I thought like much. yesterday type shit. Right. But like nobody saw that shit. Nobody really gave a fuck who won. I just seen like Tyson because they had just had a little woman how Tyson lost. Right. He would get his ass rocked in that hole too. We got down here, I lost, but I was like, but that shit be so funny because like if niggas ain't involved, but we'll give a fuck. <laughs> Absolutely. I only care I only care about certain things that happen in certain communities out there. <laughs> you like that shit, but I ain't no big fight to us, goddamn. Right, right. What the fuck got done? Yeah, we'll give a damn nigga if you got cheated, if you got damn came in overweight. Yeah. You don't get no fuck about that. Hey, uh, I def I definitely feel that because I ain't only time I had ever watched Tyson Fury fight when he was fighting Deontay Wilder. So you to your point, goddamn. Yeah, yeah. All the time, goddamn, he come into our right. Spanish move, goddamn, like, damn, that's a big ass white boy. He was a right. shape, goddamn. <laughs> and they can't whoop no Deontay Wilder. He was dying, a white boy whoop him. Yeah. Yeah, Tyson Fury don't look like he just uh, athletic. I don't know. I don't really think it punches might not hurt, bro. It punches might not hurt. He ain't just in shape like that, bro. He like one of them. It get him by like uh Jokic, like the nigga just ain't yeah, that, yeah, terribly athletic. Goddamn, like that shit work for him. Goddamn. Yeah, just enough, like exceptionally athletic. Yeah, shit like that. He ain't. Yeah, he been running out of the court, doing you no know, between the leg. Goddamn, but dunk that bitch. Right. But he'll come down no, he'll put his weight on you. <laughs> that one of them big white boys mm. play fundamental basketball. <laughs> That nigga stupid as hell, bro. Nah, yeah. he ain't just no superior yeah. athlete. Nah, bro, fun though. But that well, uh, did he? Oh, See my the guy God. in that video? Yeah, man. What? Oh, my God. Yeah. I, what, this is my question about the video. Granted, everybody seen what happened. We can't unsee what happened. And they can't even charge him for what happened because of statute of limitations. But do you feel like in the Diddy video, as she was trying to leave, she had a bag. Do you think she had something in the bag that made him come down the hallway? Or do you think it was just a control issue to where he's just like, where the fuck you going and did what he did? Man, that shit might have been a control issue. I'm just guessing. I'm just speculating. Of course, I'm just, I don't fucking know. But yeah. goddamn, yeah, I'm just, I'm just speculating. It was control issue. He woke up, goddamn. What is that? He woke up on the street, trying to sneak out. Yeah. <laughs> he woke up, catch him. What my bitch is? We just trying to leave. Yeah. In the town, not the hoe. And that, she, that way got my fire me because y'all. Now I was saying, like, the way he got there, grabbed her, got there, bitch, and kicked him. Like, right. nigga, like, he kicked the nigga on the but I mean, it wasn't that hard. He had on no shoes. Like, he even kicked somebody that hard with your toes out there. It though. ain't funny, but you don't know how hard the nigga feet is, though. I mean, but it was like a. It was, you feel me? Kicking the ass. Kicking the ass ain't gonna hurt that bad. Not saying it didn't hurt her, but goddamn, like, it ain't like he had on like steel toe boots. Which I'm not saying. I know y'all like, this nigga trying to goddamn. Hey, y'all niggas know some goddamn niggas that beat up on their old lady. I, I still cool with them, goddamn. Yeah. That might not be hung out there, you feel me? Oh, deal breaker. Was they still together after that? Yeah. Did she go to the police after that? Nah, I don't Did, think so. Why didn't get immediately arrested at all? Yeah. She don't got no homeboys, no brothers, or cousins, or uncles, or goddamn dad or nothing. Hey, let me call on this nigga. Come beat this nigga ass. I don't, I don't know. know. She might not. And a lot That's of that, that, yeah, she might not. A lot of it, they saying now is like it's her the dude she married to now is the the mastermind behind putting all this shit out and, and making all this what it is it ain't necessarily her but i just feel like as a grown man bro even if i do got control issues some gonna make me put some pants on first you know what i'm saying like for him to come out of that bitch and hit towel bro like that's the first thing you grab to wrap up in when you going down the hallway to fight like hell no bro like what is security with down here what about like nigga, you just ran out here essentially you naked bro with the toes out. yeah bro essentially you naked bro like then the shit, like he paid the hotel x amount of dollars to, to hide the video for him to get the video but 
it's like, okay, cool. You took the precautions to keep the video out of circulation, but I just feel like it had to be more to it. Like, I, I do think it may have been something in her bag or something else happened that made him like, I got to act now. Like, when, like if you on some bullshit and your girl snatch your phone, like, nigga, you're not thinking, of, oh, shit, let me put on some clothes. Nigga, you, if you got some bullshit in that phone and she finna, your ass gonna get after that phone and whatever you got on. But I don't know. See, he a different type of. I can't. I don't know. I, I, you feel? But that's us acting, thinking not logically. Mm-hmm. I just can't say he was thinking logically. Yeah. I can't say, goddamn, he would have ran out. There was, was no towel on. Yeah. And goddamn, you feel me? But yeah, he was that type of nigga. She shouldn't have goddamn turned on the shower. Goddamn, snuck out the motherfucker. <laughs> and she. <laughs> She both look out the goddamn bathroom window with that nigga. So I got that. Shit, that so probably... that opened up the window, goddamn, up, goddamn. The crazy shit was flashing in the wind. This shit was probably up in the air, goddamn. She both got there, snuck out to the second floor balcony. Yeah, she was moving real last shit. That was good. Like, she, she went moving like she was trying to get away from no nigga. Like that. Why not finna take the elevator? You gotta get the fuck on. I'm taking the steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You follow me down these steps. I ain't yeah. gonna be at the whole fuck. <laughs> yeah. Man, this nigga steady coming out there. I'm steady now. I gotta keep moving out this bitch. I'm on the steps on your ass. I might go to the elevator and click the little welcome card to keep running out this bitch. <laughs> nah, you gotta keep me on these steps, my Yeah, brother. facts. You even be running that hard down these steel steps. <laughs> and I know that nigga feet was still wet. <laughs> I might do. I might hit you with the overdose. I might goddamn act like I'm going to the down. I might go up, but then get on that elevator, goddamn, but then go down. Shit. You got that? Nigga, be in the lobby naked as hell. <laughs> oh my boy, you going there? You just ain't for the catch me on the same floor elevator. Yeah. I'm trying to get away from you, and normally, yeah, with the elevator the hotel, you can only go fucking one way. Yeah, that's true. It might be the ice machine to the left. Goddamn, you come out, you can go left or right to the room. To the stuff. Goddamn shit. I would have knocked on somebody else's room, though. See, let me in the whole shit. Uh. Some bought me some there. time. I'm probably not on everybody. Shit, they make everybody come outside. Yeah, I'd have walked down right down that bitch. Hey, Pete, it out here. Hey, Pete, it out. You trying to beat me? You trying to beat me? <laughs> yeah, she ain't making enough ruckus out this old. She pulled it, yeah. Facts, but I don't know. That shit crazy, bro. Like, he acted highly irrationally. If if I'm, if you ask me, bro, because for a grown man to run out naked and want to fight, that's irrational. Yeah. Then to throw glass vases at her and do all that shit, like, damn, bro, what the lady do, bro? I'm like, now you reckon out? Hey, that's why you had to pay the hotel. Like, nigga, now you throwing her reckon out? Shit, nah. <laughs> yeah. hey, shit. Wait a minute, goddamn. But you mad at your own house, goddamn. Yeah, facts. So yeah, that shit, that shit, wow, bro, but. I don't know. So even with that video coming out, how does it make you feel about everything else he's been accused of? Do you feel like that makes him lean, I guess, more susceptible to, yeah, he did all that other shit they said, or nah, this is just isolated event. The nigga's just a woman beater from what we can see and prove. Like they got now? Now you're going to say that just make him guilty of all other charges, but yeah, that one. Yo, dude. Yeah. You can't you can't really see like then again, like that shit lying to me. Yeah. Like you know you can you know you can goddamn beat up a little smaller girl, like Yeah, it doesn't you need to be that, that that shit you feel take control of you that much that you gotta goddamn put your hands on her and, or feet or whatever the fuck. That shit lying to fuck me. Yeah, don't put don't put your hands on no woman, man. Domestic violence. Now, man, I'm shit, you man. feel but go back and forth. We gotta fight each other, now. Yeah, shit might be like, hey, this bitch hit me too, but I get back. And got damn, yeah. this is how our relationship. You goes. defending yourself? Hey, you feel? I can't. You feel me? They might like to fight and fuck. Yeah. I don't know. You feel me? Right, right, right. But now, if you just doing all the goddamn fighting, now they now they different. It's just one side. Yeah, that's a beef. Hey, yo. But yeah, that shit. I know some niggas got down. I ain't gonna say I know some niggas, but. Yeah. be some niggas, they bitches be goddamn fighting with that. Yeah, yeah. See, she might get the first lick off. And hey, that shit nigga, might hurt. Hey, yeah. then, see, you hit her back. And she, how the fuck later on? Yeah, that shit. I don't know. That ain't necessarily abuse. That's just some toxic shit. Yeah, but I wouldn't say um that shit be like. Yeah, that nigga. It was like she was getting no lick back. Goddamn, but you gotta hit the um. Uh, 
<laughs> Hit the Tina Turner at the end. Got hey, yeah. fuck it. She we both with her. But she she did the right shit. Now if you if you if you not the aggressor and when that nigga threw her down, she ain't try to get up. She ain't try to do shit. She laid done and was like, fuck it. It's just what it is. So and then this a big now nigga head up. Like nigga, did it come punch me? I'm I'm not doing nothing back. Nigga, we going to court. Fuck, and I know it's on camera. Man, fuck that shit, bro. He finna have to come you out of pocket. You, you ain't gonna punch him back? Nah, nigga, if I know it's a camera around and I can get me some money off this shit, bro, fuck that. But what if you pay the goddamn the wolf of call? They take the camera. He like, shit, go to court. He's like, damn, shit, that shit gone. <laughs> yeah, hey, I'm foul for his idea. Fuck that, nah. Hey, hey he gone, huh? Nah. Shit, you know, see that man again. You can't. Nah, hey, man. what they say? He protected, nah. You might try to throw a punch and he goddamn block your arm. <laughs> You must. Hey, <laughs> nah, you hell try to spit nah. on somebody to catch you. You got. Hey, that nigga said somebody to catch What? Nah, I don't know. It can't go like that though. Fuck that. You think you think that shit gonna affect his record sales? Not record sales, but like. <laughs> no, I'm tripping. I'm nigga, tripping. What? Nigga, what? nigga, what? Record sales? Are like, you got the ever fire Super Bowl? I got. Hey, I've been missing you. <laughs> And we was we was on the block. We was seeing the block. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mean records. Fuck daddy. Hey, bad boys. Hey, bad boys. This nigga said, "Picking the records." Say that ain't what I mean, bro. Are you being close and saying? No, I'm buying Sean John no more. Fuck. <laughs> I meant like his business oh, shit, like rock. with the rock and shit. That's what I meant to say, like his business deals and shit, not record sales. I fucked up with that. That nigga don't got no hit record. <laughs> nigga, if you can name five hit Diddy records, you you need to go on the game. I, know, so. I, I can name five hits by Diddy. We got no records out this bitch. <laughs> nigga, you got some hits now. Yeah, you got some hits and some kicks out this bitch. That nigga fucked and up. And a couple nigga. grams out this <laughs> That nigga fucked up, bro. He ran by unanimous decision. My boy, I said, God damn, go mess up his record sale. That ain't what I meant, bro. His big ass. Yeah, he ain't got damn oh, big ain't making no more music. Ain't nah. nobody buying that shit. Nah, hell nah, bro. I feel like the feds probably found most shit in his crib, though, that's gonna come out. No, nah, that nigga like motherfucking old dog. I'm oh, goddamn in society. What you mean? Then he wanted to get the tape and goddamn show it to everybody. They were probably over there been watching this. Hey, look, look, look. Yeah. Look how I ran that. Look, Dick, I had on the towel, goddamn. Bitch, where you going? Yeah. Motherfucker, I... yeah. It's me and you, all right. I've been yeah. waiting. <laughs> See, I think I'm finna make a move out this. Oh. Yeah, yeah. For real. That nigga ain't look for no camera. He just did what he was going to do out there, ho. Get it there. But she, too, I think they put. I want to say like with CNN and all the, the the places that put out this kind of shit, I think they they put it out because like of course okay he can't get in trouble due to the statute of limitations, but it just ruined him as a man because we can't unsee that shit no more. You know what I'm saying? Like that's stuck to him forever. Before we knew this shit, nigga, everybody was just up in the air about did it. Now it's like oh shit, we got some physical proof that. You do some of the shit they say you do, goddamn. Like that's I fucked people, up. People knew that shit before that video. Yeah, you know I told you, goddamn. Like man, this nigga knew, nigga knew, goddamn, did it was damn uh, beat her out this home. Huh? He whoop on his bitch. Yeah, that made sense. So yeah, man, that what shit, that shit fucked up. At the end of the day, bro, domestic violence is not the answer, bro. Lead the pussy before you beat the pussy, man. For real, don't do that one. That nigga shit ain't said, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do both. Yeah, that nigga trip. Yeah, bro. nigga, now what? I can do both. <laughs> Hell yeah, nah. Get away with it. I tell you, another nigga who I feel like was tripping, bro, Megan the Stallion, cameraman, like, did, he came out some more. So he already then accused the lady or whatever the case is, wrong for termination and shit. Cause, but he's saying that his issue is that she made him film the shit. That she asked him to for like film and shit, her fucking a girl in the back of the car, and that's what he felt uncomfortable and and you she he came fired out him. Before? Yeah, cause he came out before yeah. and said that he, you know, she had made he felt uncomfortable with what she asked him to do. Then he came out with the details and was like, Nah, I'm more so uncomfortable. 
she body shamed me and then made me film her fucking girl in the back of the car. And your fat ass can't join them. <laughs> yeah, cool <and> shit. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably said some reckless shit that to my butt. So, I, I mean, I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know what he's looking to gain from it, but I think that's that's kind of like a, a, a reach. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't prove that she body shamed you and shit. And if you were the cameraman, how she make you film it? You feel me? Yeah, if you the cameraman, how you ain't got the fat shame on camera? You motherfucker. Yeah. You gonna be recording everything. Shit, I got the proof right here. Yo, or if I'm the cameraman and I got the video of Megan the Stallion out there, bitch, having full fledged lesbian sex. Oh, oh, bitch, you, you wanna fire me? Oh, I bet you I'm finna get rich. Oh, yo, I finna be on every XNXX porn hook. Oh, I'm finna monetize like a motherfucker. And I'm put out little clips. Make people want to see this shit. I'm gonna start OnlyFans with the whole video. And I'm gonna charge nigga $10.99 to see that shit. You know how I many people are subscribed to that shit to watch that shit? No. Yeah. Nigga, I'm up. Fuck you, bitch. And you made me feel I was doing my job. Oh well, see you. And if you want me to delete the video, you gotta cut a check. Yeah, that's how you do that. I just started OnlyFans uploaded the whole video. Or play all that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. How you want me to film it, Miss Daddy? Uh, goddamn, hold on. Let me get my lights up. Let me. Shit, hey, I would have angles. Shit, I had ass crack. All that shit. It would have been a whole lot of shit. But I don't know, bro. I, I think he going about the shit the wrong way. How you feel? Oh, uh, shit. Being the cameraman? If I would got down wrongfully terminated because of that incident? Yeah, like, how would you how would you go about it? Like, as far as she, if she like, nah, Rob, you going to. You gonna film me fucking this girl with your skin ass? You ain't shit. You in that bed, motherfucker. Like body shame you and telling you you gonna still do your I always, job. I always have said, depending on how much I'm getting paid, shit. You can call me a couple names. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna just say this with them, right? Who got that? Depending on how much I'm getting paid. Yeah, I'm getting, yeah, getting got there. Twenty five, three thousand dollars a week. Got there to do my job. I'm got there to sustain. My lifestyle out this shit, shit. Yeah, all right, bitch. Oh, God damn, what you want me to do, motherfucker? Hey, yeah. yeah, you call me a couple names. Hurry your skin ass up. Yeah. You ain't nothing skin them all. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it'll be a limit, God damn. Hey, you said it's gonna be a limit. Nah, hold on. Nah, we just in public, God damn. You just keep all that, man. Hurry your skin, hurry up, bitch. Hurry your skin ass over there. Man, hey, hold on. Let me be some with them all, God damn. That's good, bitch, you know? You get away, goddamn this shit. When it's just us out there, though, <laughs> me and you got that secured in the drive. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't gonna be somebody we just out of play with the Met Gala guy. <laughs> Nigga, why you get it? Bring your skinny bitch ass on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck this bitch ain't you talking to? <laughs> oh, nigga, you let her say that shit when you buy clothes. Yeah. Nigga, that behind clothes, no, goddamn. You mm. get away with everything. <laughs> yeah. I get, yo. Yeah. But yeah, if I ain't making the money enough, see, he even call me shit out of money. I ain't about this, so he even about this, I ain't about to feel no type of way out there. <laughs> yeah, and I ain't gonna say nothing about it. Yeah. That's what I wanna know, like how much he making this shit for him to wanna have to sue her and go about it this this route, the way he trying to get some back in shit. Like that that that's just I don't know, that shit kinda that shit kinda open ended, but I don't know, but I feel like if it was me personally, like I said, I would have recorded that shit. Yup, I would have been just as quiet, production edits, all kind of shit. And I would have got them made me a chunk of change on the back end off that shit. Yeah, bitch. I would have got her on camera saying, record it. Come on. That consent. So, yeah, we can throw that shit out the window. Yeah, you asked for this shit. So, yeah, I'm finna go OnlyFans. Yeah, you want to see Megan Sag Sex Tape? Here go the link, bitch. Hey, yo, 1099. But you know how many people are up uh, if. If that little skinny white girl bad, bad what her name was, that made eighteen million dollars on OnlyFans, oh, yeah. you know a nigga gonna brush your knee, but yo, them little goddamn, I think them niggas be some perverts, cause they waited till she turned eighteen to buy that shit, and yeah, them niggas some pervert, man. Yeah, it's some sick ass niggas in the world, man. Like the shit with the uh, with the school teacher nigga going around with the girls braiding their hair. I was like, how, hey, how you feel about this? I got daughters, man. That shit would have pissed me off, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You got daughters and sisters. So, goddamn. Right, that shit would have pissed Now, my sister. If you're, now, I'm just saying, if she was yeah. 15 or whatever. Right, right. 
like I said, your sister older than your daughter's younger, so of right. course gonna got they gonna have to yeah. act like they fifteen, but if they were fifteen and you got them seeing they taking down, they teach they teach her. No, you're not at school for that. That nigga got a bitch who who been braiding in hell before he started teaching. Or or what like nigga what my, my daughter ain't at school for you to be getting your motherfucking hair done. You feel me? Like that ain't what this that ain't what this is, bro. And then on top of that, like, what the fuck this do for you with a bunch of little girls playing in your head and shit? Like, nah, bro. Like, no. All right, so, all right, boom. I'm gonna go off another. So you don't think it's appropriate? Let us say he go to a, a beauty salon, but the um the stylist is fifteen. Do you think that's wrong? No, but the environment that he's in, he's at a beauty salon to get his hair done. The niggas at school, at work to teach whatever the fuck going on. Nigga, you're there to instruct, nigga, not to not to have my child undoing and doing your hair. So, okay, bet. That's right. I ain't got any feeling. I'm just saying, have you ever done anything with a teacher that wasn't school related at school? Not goddamn, you feel me? Nothing sexual, but goddamn, have y'all ever just, you feel me? I might have played, played around, shot basketball in the trash can. Have you ever done anything that wasn't like, nigga, you not in school to do this? You in school to fucking teach? You, you ain't never done nothing with your teacher that wasn't school related? Yeah, but it didn't involve me touching my teacher, though. In no kind of way. See, I think a lot of this shit, they get over the sexual, sexual, sexual. Like sexualized, what the sexualized. Yeah, but I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't even push. I ain't even pushing a sexual narrative. It's the fact that hell no, nah, bro. Like again, I I've never made contact with my teacher, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like this is too part. Not even on no sexual shit. That's just not a proper student teacher relationship. So you never wrestle with your teacher on that? Hell no, nah, never. You know, got nah, nigga. Nah, hell no. Nah. Oh, okay. You feel me? Like, nah, if you at school to teach, you at school to teach. Now, nah, if we shoot basketball in the track can, whatever the case is, that shit cool. But for you to have some little girl, like, yeah, y'all come take my hat down and rebraid my hat and shit. Even if the nigga was the cosmetology teacher, nigga, they sell heads, little plastic heads and shit for that. That's not, bro, that's not an appropriate student teacher relationship. Then even even on his end, right? Let me just take it to his side as an adult. That's too much of a slippery slope for you to subject yourself to some shit that might not be okay with their parents. If they go home and she tell, oh, daddy, daddy, I took my, my teacher hat down and rebraided his house. You don't know how her daddy going to take He might not sexualize, but he might be like, hey, man, I thought that nigga was the history teacher. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. He might be, you know, he might be looking to ask my child to go to lunch next or some shit. Not again, not that he's trying to do anything sexual, but you're doing everything that's not what a student and teacher is supposed to be doing. My child in your block for this 70 minutes or whatever, they need to be like, I don't care if y'all sit here and don't do nothing. They don't need to be goddamn up on you, touching you. Oh, Mr. Taylor, let me trace your tattoos with my finger. For fucking what? He's the math teacher. You feel me? Like that just that just what I'm saying. Like the 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 situation is too much of a slippery slope for some whole other shit. Yeah, I ain't seen any response. I didn't see his response. It was it was some shit like that I fired him or whatever, and uh, he reading. Uh, they be texting each other and shit. They be what? They be texting. They be calling each other bitches and shit. Him and the students. Yeah. See, that what I'm saying. Like, no, bro. Cause see, now that's moving outside of the of the goddamn like you're building a rapport with my child so now and then at that age my child is impressionable so even if it did turn into some shit that ain't supposed to be happening you my child has built up a sort of a trust with you that ain't appropriate you don't need to text my child right what you text my child for you a grown man bro that ain't your child i don't give a fuck how much you know what i'm saying that's just weird, bro. You don't have no 15 year old homegirls that you text. You know what I'm saying? That shit sounds crazy. Yeah, hell no. Nah, not me. <laughs> you fit just any grown ass man, like, 
Man, what the fuck? And I think the shit that they would text you would be annoying out this whole like <laughs> some fifteen year old shit like this shit pissing me off. Yeah, all right, on the other, but his response like um they put up another one. It was a white teacher though. I think he he, he had like a little bald head or whatever. And goddamn, they was like dazzling his head. This white kid, he was like, shit, he didn't get fired. I said, oh, he hit he hit the guy. Hey, he hit the guy down. <laughs> And get five from work out there with being late. Oh, shit. I ain't found a white boy out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. He come in late. He talk crazy to the supervisor. Yeah. You smoke outside the designated smoking area. You yeah. got there. <laughs> yeah. Now yeah you, I done got there and fired his ass. But see, I fired me. Yeah, you know a nigga going to try to balance that shit out now. Nah. Nigga going to try to balance that I go down. So I'm taking. That nigga yeah. said, nigga, I'm taking everybody with me. Got you know there. how we do. <laughs> you know how we do. But even that, though, even if they bedazzling the white man hit, there should be no contact that this whole of no kind of shit like yeah hell no bro. But down, at the end of the day you can't discredit what the parents like you said that shit could be not nothing sexual at all but you can't discredit discredit what the parents think about that like exactly. man, your daddy got down you hey shit it ain't no it ain't no touching the teacher at all god damn i don't believe y'all should touch out this whole yeah and in this type of mama hey it gonna make you raise the eyebrow like what the fuck like why how did that even transpire like if you supposed to be the science teacher how the fuck we get to bring your house and why is you texting my child and you know what i'm saying you didn't text me and say hey i'm gonna be texting your child goddamn is, is that okay with you you just took it upon yourself to do this shit nah bro something about you ain't right even again even if it ain't sexual why the fuck do you want to associate with some children so bad Beyond yeah. being their teacher. Now, I said they, I said it would be like you said, slippery slope. It could just be being on teacher shit. He could have got down and been like, "Hey, shit, if y'all ain't, I'm just have a good rapport with my kids. They probably grew up in a bad environment, or whatever. Their mama, or daddy might not be around, or whatever. Shit, you got somebody that you can talk to, an older person that I can just be like a mentor guy or something. You just at school. That just, I said. It was a slippery slope. Like I, said, I ain't got nothing like I wouldn't myself do it, but I wouldn't be no teacher anyway though. But yeah, but I will. I'd be like college. I might fuck with my student. Yeah, hey, no, I'd be college if guy, you're a man. college professor, your student twenty one plus, plus, fuck it. I might fuck around. Right my god, dang, you gotta watch this nigga. Just say, look out there. Yeah, she a college senior. She 22, 23. 24 shit. Yeah, that's fair that game. Three, shit. Yeah, that's fair game, goddamn, but not no but, fucking middle school teacher. Because again, if you had a daughter, bro, as a father, and you one day you go and check in your daughter's phone with just safety precaution, and you see she texting her her male teacher, and you don't know nothing, but this the first time you stumble upon this. How do you take that? I don't know. I don't got no dog. So I said, your your response be better, man. I don't got no dog. Yeah. I don't know how we got there because there's a lot of shit I don't know how I would do it with if I had a daughter. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Cause Even your son, your son texting his male teacher outside of school. I probably won't care. <laughs> but they calling each other besties and all uh, this type no, of shit. Look, <laughs> no, add, this you what you said it. was in the text. Yeah, uh, yeah, I probably won't care. I had to, when I see like, I go through the whole little, you feel me, context so, of other goddamn messages, you know. You feel me? Just make sure. <laughs> hey, see, like, it ain't no so guy. you count to a certain extent. Like, what else say Link? <laughs> link with a question mark. <laughs> Send it to me. Say what? Say it. That's some, some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we are here go on. Uh, <laughs> Extra credit. <laughs> question mark. Nigga, what? Say how it. bad you want to do hey. <laughs> Yo. Nah, yeah. It was, that was some shit like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But you care if you're gonna go through the whole yeah, thing. Yeah. I'm mean, like, yeah. I'm got that. I see. Like I said, I, I wouldn't understand why I would do nothing about it. But uh, unless, <laughs> unless it's some shit like that. <laughs> then I'm got there. Like, you say some shit out the way, got there. Yeah, let me, bro. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna act like I know. We don't see it. Where you wanna meet up there? Yeah. My parents at, at work right now. You wanna come over? I'm gonna see what he's gonna say, <laughs> guys. He finna put the catch a credit on a nigga. <laughs> That nigga come pull up your crib. I don't see a car outside. Doors unlocked. Hey, shit. Hey, I'm happy. I got Hey, shit. I'm fresh and low. I'm going to be down there in a minute. 
Get comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stare that nigga, but that nigga. <laughs> that butt that like did it. <laughs> he in the towel like this. So shit, no. But, but yeah, no, no, no. I was got the hands, mm. Now that they test me on some, hey, I can't say because I, I I had my teacher's number before. It was an older white lady um, number, but it's still a teacher. And I had a number, and she mm. got down. You feel me? I was I think sixteen. We got me on a job, whatever. Hey, you got to need some help with doing anything on the job. It was like multimedia, like on computers and shit. Yeah. Got me a job. Hey, I need some help. She got my number. Oh, I might hit on Facebook. Right. Hey, I need mm-hmm. some help. With. I forgot how to do this, uh, this this Excel spreadsheet. It was never no goddamn nothing outside of school. It was still some school shit. that just got there. We just so happened not to be at school at the time. Mm-hmm. So I have had my teacher's number before. Yeah. And goddamn, we taste and shit. Yeah. But like I said, it was never no linking or no shit. But yeah. like I said, was, or I besties, had... like, nigga, they my best friend type shit. Nah, these so motherfucking teacher, goddamn. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I feel what you're saying. It's again, so, it yeah, just. I have, yeah, yeah. I haven't had that relationship with teachers before. It just boiled down to a slippery slope. The shit can be too. Um, yeah, these teachers are there, they have to be free. Yeah, some of these motherfuckers just be psyched out and it be an end for some other shit. Cause you don't never know what the motherfucker into. Like whatever getting them off might not be sexual. Mm, shit, well, they got damn all these hands I had in my head for gone beat the meat behind me. You see what I'm saying? But, nigga, some crazy shit. No, that's it. Cause you like I said, you don't know. You yeah. don't know exactly what but it is. Facts. After that shit. That shit, wow. So but yeah, to keep all that down. I would just not do it all together. Facts. You like, just like subject people, yourself to some shit. Like me, I don't like you feel me just necessarily handling people's kids. Mm-hmm. Type like when they had like little small kids, I don't got down. Especially like I'm not finna watch nobody's kids. <laughs> Cause got down, or you're not finna come and like try to check your kid. I mean, of course, I guess you gotta do that. You a parent and shit, but. Like check and see they got any bruises or goddamn mm-hmm. hey, shit. What you did over on Tino House? Yeah. But look, I you not even motherfucking like me myself. I just don't want to get subjected to that. Yeah. You, know, you think I'm a goddamn old creep ass, freak ass nigga, huh? You ask your kid goddamn it. What you yeah? You, you, you sit in his lap. But, <laughs> see, look, I don't even feel me. I don't need so just to keep myself subjected from that. Nah, don't. Mm-hmm. Nah, I want you around, goddamn. The kid come around me. Facts. Even though it ain't no shit like that, it's just I know how people live, and I don't mm-hmm. want nobody in much because that shit piss me off, goddamn. Yeah, fuck, bitch, I can get a goddamn grown woman. Out there, yeah, yeah. Play with me like that. You don't want nobody even think no shit like that, and that's how you stop that shit. It's just like the lottery. The best way to not win that motherfucker is to don't play. That's man, just had, what it is. Man, man, I had a goddamn. I had a uh, little chick I just fucked with. She had a little kid. I was at her house one day. I used to don't even want to go around and get this house. We got yeah. an hour around the house. Child went to sleep. She had a little boy I used to fuck with type of shit. He got, they about the same age my son was. He wanted to goddamn was in the room and shit. He was showing me, I'm standing up by the door, goddamn. He showing me his little calls. He got down doing a little shit. He like, shit, I want son to drink. We got that. We got just bought son to drink, goddamn. I went to the film. I bought back the son. For her and the baby would be to eat type shit. Right? But yeah, I ain't. But he had one of something else out the kitchen. I like, well, yeah, ask your mama, goddamn. Mama was in that sleep. He goes, he like, shit, go to the kitchen. He go to that be like, I want this. Ain't yeah. been over yet. I'm like, shit, man, you gotta ask your mama, got he get mad. He go on that bit and tell him, mama, I hit him. I said, oh, but that'd be the last time we got down, hang out, goddamn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you know, man, you fucked that up, goddamn. Yeah. You gotta hang out by yourself now, shit. I was just fucking with you if you been, but then Yeah, cause you, you know, been, I, I fucked with your mama, so shit, nigga, I'm gonna be cool. Yeah, I sleep shit. Cause I didn't couldn't win in the house, just played the game, whatever. Well, I was like, shit, if I fuck with a little man, he probably wants some I don't know yeah. kid, you feel me? But I said, Oh, but he fucked that up. But I said, well, yeah. I don't, but she knew got nigga, like he got a camera in his room and all that shit. Yeah, she like, boy, oh, I don't know, he already he said three hours already know how to lie. Yeah. But that fucked up because if you did hit him, then yeah, you feel me. Yeah, but you know, goddamn, I ain't know. Well, mm-hmm. that last time, I ain't got that. First of all, I don't care. I don't care that much, goddamn. Quit my motherfucking freedom. 
<laughs> yeah. Jeopardy forgot to have no motherfucking kid. This one, no kid. I ain't no stepdad, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. Right, the camera over here for your mama, guys. Nigga, down in the way, guys. Yeah, yeah in fact. Which ass one is? Like your ass. You call dude. your daddy, nigga. Where you at? Shit. That nigga don't never come get you. <laughs> Bad motherfucker. Nah, hell no. I want no. my daddy. Fuck this. Fuck you and your punk ass daddy. You ain't my son. <laughs> hey, oh, God. Hey, hey <laughs> for real, bro. But yeah, that yeah, that that time right there, so yeah, nah, I ain't got damn fuck with nobody. They're little kids no more. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. gotta be in the same room. They gotta be looking at me. Cause like I said, she couldn't. You put your hand on my kid. Yeah, it could. It's too much of a slippery slope. You could have went in the way. That's some real shit though, man. That's yeah. Don't subject yourself to no slippery slopes out here, man. Keep your keep yourself free and clear of that shit if you can, bro. For real. What what you feel like? What do you feel like is some shit that people fake care about a lot? People dying. Damn, you took what I was gonna say. Boy, that's some real shit though. Cause it don't stop. That nigga don't be caring for real. I ain't gonna say that everybody right though, but how much shit, man? Folks don't be caring. No, they, I, they, they didn't want to have the guy. Damn, I just talked to him. Let me post this. Let me post. Let me post this. Yeah, damn, but you took, but you took it right out my mouth, bro. Cause these folks is dead now. Now you want to honor? But I mean, my dad was talking about this shit two days ago. Yeah, he like now you want to honor? Would they have? Would they have wanted? But Paul, you want to do this shit when they was alive? Fact. When I did dead, shit, you wouldn't want to be to do this. Yeah. Fuck you, do it when they was alive. Exactly. When it really meant something. He ain't with him when they was live, goddamn. Now you yeah. wanna come to the funeral, now you wanna goddamn cry. Post the videos way. and now you was the best friend and posting text messages and all that shit, bro. Like nah, and then go right back to doing the bullshit. That would it be. Man, no Especially the niggas who doing the killing and shit, the damn but they they off my partner, and then you right back in the street spinning blocks and riding around with the glock and shit. Like how long do you think? It lasts that people fake care about shit like that. I I say I say that shit lasts a good thirty days. After thirty days, oh ass, long lost memory. Don't nobody give a fuck no more. Everybody like back on track. They back to doing what they doing out like this hoe. That shit, bro. For real, I watched four funerals pass by my job yesterday, bro. Like, and I know it was some young niggas, bro. Like that was in them caught in them goddamn hearses, bro. That shit sad as fuck, bro. That shit sad as hell, bro. Like one on, they had a picture of the young nigga on the side of the hurt. Young guy, nigga. You would think they'd be like, "Well, shit, but well, he got there, got killed in these streets. When he got there, try to do something different." Yeah. They're like, "Nah, shit, I'm finna." Well, back to it. Fuck I it. ain't shit. Yeah. That's that damn, but you took that my shit. That shit be sad, man. That shit be I mean, super all my sad. I'm people to got down, rise above, and not got down with shit. I was saying shit, why I said shit. They told me they take a village. They got there and raise a kid. They're like, what are the bitches retarded? <laughs> Facts. I said, well, that's the goddamn, well, that's the ghetto, buddy. That's the kind of kid you're going to raise, like, you know, because, and it'd be like, damn, these motherfuckers don't act like, the best example I didn't see, bro, is the thing that, that the police got going on out here in the city, the Operation Night Rider shit. Bro, that shit is showing how dumb niggas really are, bro. They putting that shit everywhere telling you if you had exhibition drive, you even acting like you exhibition drive. But on the end of end of first avenue down there, bro, they had a Birmingham transport unit van. So they the paddy wagon for you niggas who don't know what I'm saying. Bro, to the point where they don't even want no just, oh, the second police car gonna pull up and lock you up. No, nigga, we got the van. We gonna load you. We might lock one nigga up and just sit here and wait on another one. Like, yeah, niggas just get comfortable. Like that shit crazy, bro. Cause you wanna speed up and down the street. Then when they pull you over, they got pound of weed in the car, the car stolen, the gun stolen, switch on the gun, cash, ski mask, bullets. God damn, nigga, you, you flying up and down the street with all this shit? Codeine, pills. A nigga had 150 Viagra pills. That shit was on, the, I was like, what the fuck? And they said nigga had morphine pills, oxycontin, half a pound of weed, and 150 goddamn, it's called... Sidenafil citrate. That's the generic. That's the scientific name for Viagra. He had 150 Sidenafil citrate pills. 
Bro, what? What? I'm going to have to hold a crowd. I'm going to put us in a nursery home. All the guys Monday through Friday. Like, what in the fuck? Like, bro. Nigga flying up and down First Avenue doing goddamn over 80 miles per hour. Like, what in the fuck, bro? I don't get it. And it's like one day them niggas said we made nine arrests. Next day, six. Then last Thursday, that shit said 19 arrests. I was like, bro, what? They got, they got them niggas up and out of here. How do you niggas feel like, oh, I guess you just felt, oh, it ain't going to be me. Shit, let me punch the ass. Fuck it. And they put the whole like, fuck, oh, damn, there is the police over there. I've been around this ass. It's dying. There's another police. Yeah. Yeah, they trying to get me out there. You know? That shit crazy, bro. Like, but to tie into that, bro, how you feel about the lawsuit against the shell on third? You think they gonna close that bit down or not? They said they wasn't. You know, like, the shell don't have no gun. You can't go, <laughs> you can't go to the shell and got there, get, get a gun from the pump and get the shooting niggas. You go to the shell and got right. there, guns that automatically pop up like in Grand Theft Auto. Mm-hmm. The establishment is not goddamn killing nobody. Yeah. The owner of the shell is not goddamn killing nobody. Right. The people that are working there are not killing nobody. It's y'all niggas. Y'all just don't have to meet up at this place. Yeah. Do the shit. It's just a little popular place to meet up at. I was gonna say, what's so significant? You from the shit. What's so significant about the shell that make niggas wanna meet See, up back right there? Back in the day, man, shell, it's none of this. It's a, the major street. Not too far from Lee and Field, so class to come down Third Avenue. They like the nigga. This is the street you gonna see everybody all type shit. Right. That the street got down. This is I done not the shit before too. But I said my shit was like back in the day, like it was still killing going on, but it wasn't like to the point like how they is now. We right. chill out that bitch and nobody get shot. Yeah. But now, goddamn, you feel like the Burger King crowd the street, mm. the shell. The auto zone and the uh, I think there's a no, nah, not auto zone. Oh, right, all that auto park. And goddamn auto uh, van across the street. Mm hmm. Be right there, too. That don't got down, you feel me? It was the third place to be. Yeah. If you want to got down, you feel me? Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. Right. Right down third, you got there. You're going to find something. You're going to find something you're looking for, type something. shit. Yeah. But. I said, you just can't put it on the establishment because I said, it's, uh, they not killing the people. Right. The young dumb motherfuckers doing it. Hell. What about crew? You think they're going to they gonna succeed with shutting down crew? They have a phone. They have I just feel like what, the, what, what if they shut down crew, what where the fuck are all them people going to go? They just going to make the up and down the street shit worse. Because now everybody who hang out right there who don't want to go to Casanova because it's too much of an old crowd. You damn sure ain't going to paper doll. We got then, you know what I'm saying? So what where the fuck them people gonna go? Where you gonna disperse them to? It'd be like they gonna go somewhere. Yeah. Man, it's just man, it's just eating mindset, bro. That what it is. That's the fucking problem. That's what I was gonna say. It's just the mindset of the people. Cause they even proposed to say, I saw an article where they were like, the people who getting caught for exhibition driving and shit, or like the car clubs, I guess they want to call them, they asking for a designated spot in the city to do that. They like, well, shit, since we can't do it on the street, then let me get a designated spot in the city to do it. So they trying to propose something to where the city say, okay, this area right here, y'all can do this shit over here, and we not going to fuck with y'all. But where, nigga? It can be in the world. It can be in the parking lot. They got that nobody you no more. Yeah, that ain't got down being um, cause if it's like an older parking lot, you're gonna have to fucking repave the shit and put new lines in that bitch anyway. Yeah, just make a little parking lot for them niggas somewhere. They got that had police out there, bitch. Like, long as I niggas do that shit right here, yeah. we just out here to make sure y'all niggas don't got down to get shooting and got down killing nobody, right? But got down, y'all niggas in this bitch, they do what you want, facts. Because doing it at City Walk, we get your lot done. So, like I said, them niggas still get. As you see, the niggas still gonna do it. Yeah, they, they hadn't stopped. They hadn't slowed down one bit. But I'm like, damn, bro. Then I'm like, okay. Even if you're gonna exhibition ride or whatever the case is, like I'm sure the police stop you and, and arrest you for that. They can't keep you in jail so long for that. But if you got this illegal ass assault rifle and these switches on these Glocks and a pound of weed and shit, 
why in your brain is it cool to do 100 miles an hour on a, a inner city street? Like, what makes you be like, yeah, yeah, but it could hot as fuck. I'm finna. Ooh, like, nigga, what in the fuck? Like you said, it's the, I get we don't do yeah. shit like that, so we can't process I mean, it. It's hard, goddamn, you feel me? Just think about it. I wouldn't even want to be in the car with my man. Let me out, alcohol, you feel me? Influences got down. Yeah, what what percentage of, do you think these niggas do that shit for the women? Because trying to impress girls and shit. Flying no, up and down the street. I don't think shit for no girls. For real? Damn. I don't think they do that shit for no women. It's just to show off my fast ride out there. But if that be stolen, like, man, most of them cars be stolen. I be like, where the fuck y'all stealing them from? They be stealing them all. They be stealing the shit out of them hoes, bro. I would like it there. <laughs> I'm talking about, cause not no chop, nigga used to steal a car and go to the chop shop. No, nigga like, Nigga said, hunt your driveway and go down third. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do that <laughs> <laughs> Nigga go to rent the errands in that motherfucker like, God damn. I gonna be on that hoe, boy, and <laughs> shit. Who got it in? Hey, boy, you already know what's going on. Boy, get your ass in the hole. Don't have your ID on you, boy. Like, cuz, can't no nigga who ain't had no car just come pick me up. Hell no. Hey, you ain't no job last. Damn, you ain't no half, my nigga. Hey, you just ain't no. But what's this? Was this was hit lottery or something? And they got a guy saying, they got to ask a couple questions. Nigga, they come to the court bit for hell, cattle, and shit. But it's hey, this is. Eight thousand dollars, come my nigga. What you, what you got there? Like, let you borrow that bitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. I don't really know nobody that let you borrow. They call like that. <laughs> yeah, bro, you can't just come pick me up, bro. Man, they get in. No, nah, shit, no. Nah. Hell, yeah, ain't no key in them. What? Show me the key. Where the key at, cuz? Well, I'm just me show <laughs> that big. Ass. Yeah, nigga, nigga got that bitch in neutral, pulling the park and break, start that motherfucker. No, sir. Hell, yeah, why you want to put the bitch in park, cuz? Huh? Hell no, nah. the key shit dinging, <laughs> the key fob is up to be a good. Hell no, nah, boy. Shit, no. Nah. I'm like, but that shit can't be fun, bro. Yo, you might fool me if you come get me some older. Like, you. I think pull up in that damn LCSS out there. He's like, oh, shit, we got shit. I didn't believe that. Guy. Yo, it's a little goddamn thousand dollar car. You look G by this shit. You done got them up the street. you like, yo, but bucket seats and shit. you like, all right. You got this on the ride in, yeah, bro. Then you, we get pulled over that whole stolen. All right, bro, fuck it. You got me. But you ain't finna pull up in no motherfucking AMG. Why by the kid got them bribe inside this hoe? Talking about some get in them motherfucker. No, but I know what it takes to buy a car. You ain't been at the dealership all day. Hell no. Nah. Nigga, I just went down there a couple an hour or two and got, oh, uh, you full of shit. Nope. Nah, bro, so. Nah, bro, be mindful of who you get in the car with, bro, and be mindful <laughs> of who pull up on you and what. Don't just be out there whole ride around, bro. For sure, man. Yeah, Niggas are crazy, shit. dog. <laughs> that stolen car shit getting out of hand. That shit, wow. E nigga, bro. That nigga, yo. Pull up in some older if you want to get me. You got to pull up in the SS. A song got money, uh, not a money car, uh, uh, Impala out there, ho. Yeah, say for 1999, uh, uh, Toyota Corolla. Yeah, you got to get a Ford Ranger or <laughs> something. Goddamn Chevy. I S- got to get that shit. Yeah, like you said, you got to trick me. Got yeah. You stole this motherfucker. You could have just paid for this, bitch. You just want to sign a do. You just want to be mischievous. I just don't got that. You do nothing but tap the starter with some metal to crank this bitch up. You just want to see if you still had it out there. Yeah, hell no, nah, bro. No. Nah. You got damn filth all the vibes in the key. <laughs> yeah. <bro. laughs> yeah, nigga, no, bro. <laughs> that stolen car shit getting out of hand, bro. These young niggas is wild, bro. I don't know. Go find you something to do, bro. If you're a young nigga, bro, jail real. It's so. Oh, but Tino, your ass funny as hell. Bro, it was something else I was gonna ask you. Oh, um, I had came across some shit the other day from when we was in college, bro. Video on YouTube we had recorded. And it made me think, bro, I said, I'm gonna ask you in this shit. If you had the chance, bro, would you go back to college? And if so, what would you change or, and not change? Nah, hell nah. You wouldn't go back to college? Mm. Why you wouldn't go back? Shit, no. Mm-hmm. Shit, hey. I ain't got something to say to me when I go back. Hey, shit, nigga. I don't got nothing. 
Nah, hell no. I got shit to change with college. Yeah. You know, I had to go back to my life back then. Then, yeah. But, no, nah, I wouldn't say I was working hard or anything. Goddamn, yeah, college. Hell, I didn't want to do that shit. That nigga said I don't want to do that shit. Mm-hmm. Nah, I mean, who I need, you know, I'm straight. Yeah. I said I would go back, bro. And if I, if I went back to college, I think the only thing I would change is some of the women I met probably having a kid so early. And what I wouldn't change, I wouldn't change. I wouldn't change none of the none of the partners I met, like all the partners I met in college, who I still fuck. With. Even my partners who done passed away and shit. You still I, fuck with them? I still fuck with them. Hey. Um. And I wouldn't change none of the creative shit that I learned while in college, like the survival shit, like creating, making beats, and doing videos, and and shit like that. That's helping me now to this day. I wouldn't change none of that shit, but I would definitely go back and reconstruct some shit and set my life up a little different, bro. But yeah, that that was that was just my thing on that, bro. When I seen the video, I was like, damn, bro. I wonder what we would change or not change in that shit. But that's a pretty interesting answer that you wouldn't even use. Just say, no, nah, I wouldn't even consider that shit. Yeah, not yeah, going yeah. back. Like I said, I met people I met. You feel? I'm still cool with them. But yeah, I went on this shit to go back to that, to that time. Yeah. That's some real shit. That's solid. Last time I changed was in 2019 when I was out of college. Yeah. What you what you mean? What you changed about it? Why you say that? Not the shit I know now. I wish I did want to do it like early, right at that time. Mm-hmm. Type shit. Like what I know now. But college, I want to kill it the same. Fuck it. What I did in college fucked up. I didn't fuck up. I didn't graduate. Whatever. Yeah. I'm fine with that. I wish I wouldn't work no harder. Yeah. That shit would have still been what it was out there, huh? Yeah, you probably got kicked out with a motherfucker 1.8. That nigga's stupid as fuck. Oh, I call that motherfucker shit. You get that paper out there and get that email out there. Shit, uh, your financial aid has been got there disqualified. Shit. Your GPA don't meet the standards. It's 2.0. Yeah. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah, they got two weeks, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> and they heat <laughs> out, goddamn. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. I don't have to yeah. worry about this no more. Oh well, shit, you gotta live at this point. That's some real shit, man. What else you got for these people tonight before we get up out of here, bro? I'm gonna got damn. Maybe seeing the people that we have them like them uh like Tarix and Dimension and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Like the dude, um I seen a little video of the white dude, like he was at a nursing home or something. He got that he was telling me <laughs> sound like he was a younger little black lady. He like, hey, you gonna suck my dick? Oh yeah, yeah. You you ain't she said, What you saying? About it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They got there, people in the comment, they were like, shit, man, dementia, that's a bad thing, or Alzheimer's, and all that shit. But I'm like, shit, when people had them type of diseases, why the first thing they gotta say is some freaky shit? You gotta be some cuss words or some freaky shit. Why don't, <laughs> why, that, why that's the first thing that come to mind, God damn. So it be some racist shit, some freaky shit, or some cuss words. Cause she, you go back to your, your nature, shit, whatever you- Five shit, it's okay, yeah, that's your nature, shit. Yeah. Whatever your nature is, I guess. Yeah, they got to read. They like, ah, fuck! Uh, my dick! <laughs> Bitch, I have dick! Like, yeah, why you why don't say no this? smart shit. Yeah, the cold is safe call. at the bank is. Yeah, some bullshit. How you fly a rocket? Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Like, nobody say no guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've never heard nobody say no positive shit, though. Oh, yeah. well, Trent, they got yeah. this. It's Street the homeless. Nobody say no shit like that, but they always say some bullshit. If you ain't got dementia, yeah. tits and shit, they do some bullshit. He got the light skin, ball bastard. He's like, the fuck you got? What he got off me. <laughs> he got off on me. <laughs> that nigga funny, bro. That's but yeah, you right, bro. People with Tourette's and dementia and them kind of shit, they don't ever say nothing positive when they have outbursts. That's a good ass question, but I need to do do some kind of search on that. Oh, oh, white lady, she got there spitting on the lot down on the social worker and yeah. shit. Yeah, she got there, she eat an album, nigga. Yeah, they can remember the race. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, bitch, it's like, hey, hell no. Why yeah. you remember that, guy? Man, <laughs> you don't no positive shit, but you 
remember niggas got there trying to spit on me in this hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, That's I a good idea. Be one of them people in that bitch. Yeah, facts. That's really it. That yeah. boy say you remember some negative. I gonna shit. get in trouble out of this whole guy. Yeah. He spit on me. This I'm gonna fuck. He spit on me. I'm gonna spit on him back. <laughs> hey, we <we're laughs> hey, if I don't hear the relief, we're gonna get uh hey, we're gonna have, I'm gonna get my spit back. <laughs> Y'all get my spit back. Yeah. Got the damn nigger, crapper. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get out the way. Yeah. I'm gonna go resign. I say, look, I go review the video. Yeah, I spit on the back now. Hey, see, I get in trouble. I believe she should get in trouble as well. Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She shouldn't be allowed to live in this she, she ain't no more. Saying, I said, I love you. Right. She ain't got that bus out with that house, burger. She got yeah. <laughs> facts. Damn, but that's a good question. You damn sure right. They always resort to that part of the brain, goddamn. Damn, but that's a good question. Damn, but that's a good question. Damn, but no positive signs of the brain. Oh, that shit gone. You always that type of person or what? Yeah, that you show your true nature. Circle of life idea. That's some real shit though, but damn, but that's a good one. Yo, hey, we need some doctors and some medical people. Emory, all you uh Harvard Medical School, all you advanced people, figure out why people with dementia and Tourette's and all that good shit say negative shit all the time. That's a good ass question. Yeah, but you, 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 you got one then. Oh, I see the positive outburst. Yeah, facts. We need to. You're a very nice looking person. No. Yeah. <laughs> you have a kind heart about you. Hey, <laughs> she is, son. It ain't never that. Oh, God. Boy, you crazy as hell, man. Oh, shit. Hey. We're going to. Um, now we're going to my last one. What's up? Hot take. Motherfucking Indiana, motherfucking uh, Minnesota Timberwolves in the finals. Oh, we got to see who win the game. That my hot take. Hot take. My hot take. Who win? Before we get up out of here, let the world know who win right now. What's going on? Minnesota and Denver. Since the one fifty seven, Denver. Third quarter, three minutes ago. Ooh, Ant Man might go to the ship. Hey, yeah. I'm telling you now, motherfucking Minnesota, Indiana, four two, Minnesota. We got it on now, video it right here. Four oh, two, God. Minnesota. Hot take. For sure. Hey, get these folks some positive shit before we get up out of here tonight. Man, goddamn, she um positive, goddamn. Motivate yeah. these people. Motivate these folks, man. Hey, man, we got there and started. Ain't gonna be where you finish. Facts. You did. Hey, real shit. Cause you gotta remember, goddamn. I know you gotta. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Man, he be, I be trying to be serious, bro. He be fucking me up. I'm say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, because you got to remember the toys doing the race, man. Nah, man, pace yourself, man. Go do something with yourself. That's my motivation. Do something with yourself, bro. Like, don't don't, don't spend your whole life doing nothing, being nothing, man. Go try something. Do something, man. Shit. Try your hand at something, goddamn. I don't care what it is, bro. Hey, you, you might be an evil super villain. <laughs> yeah. Try to do something, goddamn. Like, something, bro. Like, don't waste your life. Don't waste your beautiful life, man. God wake you up every day, man. Don't just waste it, bro. Don't take it for granted. Because somebody who wish they could wake up every day or goddamn be in a position you in, live in the house you got, whatever the case is. So, man, don't take it for granted. Go do something with yourself, man. Nah, for sure. Hey, till next week, man. Oh, two. We ain't throw be let away, man. She got some more shit going on. We support her and all her and devil. She'll be back ASAP for sure. Hey, but until next week, man, go YouTube.com, RMG, Rice Media Group. Go like, follow, subscribe, share. We got more dope on the couch episodes coming. Be on lookout for that. Merch coming. Summertime up, man. We got events coming. We'll announce them when they pop up. Hey, till next week, we gone. You did.